Hey, what's going on? Mr. Dave here on The Rock Pile. We're going to talk about mixing today. How do you mix up your mud? How do you make your uh, concrete? How do you make uh, the material they're going to use to put on your uh, framework to make your uh, rock feature, basically? So <coughs> we've already te texture coated this feature already. You can see the color is on there, and that's that fog color I've talked about in other videos. And now we're going to be shooting the inside of this grotto slide project, and we're going to be mixing that up. So we'll start off here you can mix your mix with in a bucket a five gallon bucket or you can mix it in a mixer so today we're using a mixer it does a good job of just spinning the mortar and getting it ready for us to put into the hopper and then to spray onto our surfaces that we're going to be texture coating so what we have is we have a little mixer here these are like 285 bucks at home depot or whatever and I buy like, I've had like three or four of them and you just buy them and they pay for themselves in the first job. They're such a big uh, labor saver. And they're light enough to where I can carry them in my van. I can pick it up off this little shaft in the wheelbase and put it in my van and carry it around. It's not terribly heavy. So, so far we've put in a little bit of water and then we put in the concrete bonding adhesive by Sika. And there's also a product called Aquil 60. It's more, a little more expensive. It's a little thicker, but this is Home Depot version. And it's like, I think it's 18 bucks or 14 bucks or something like that, but it does, it does a good job. That acrylic gets into your mix and it helps it adhere better to the surface you're applying it to. <clears throat> and it also resists the urge to uh, allow water to penetrate. So it stops the water penetration a little bit. So we're gonna turn it on and get this thing going. We'll show you how we do this. Get the mix spinning. But now I'm gonna get my glove. So we got, you can see how much water is in there, but the, the material is gonna tell you how thick it needs to be made. And for what we're doing, we want it really loose, really, uh, pardon the phrase, a little snotty. <laughs> so we're gonna make a snotty batch here for our hopper sprayer. So we got our spec mix. This is just something you get at Home Depot. Super uh, basic, it's a mortar material. And so buy them in the 94 or 60 pound bags, you can get either one. And so we are starting with the 94s today because we're gonna be doing a lot of it. You open the bag up so all these little flanges and little pieces are kind of open so your material will completely fall out of the bag when you put it in the mixer. Want to keep your back curved when you're mixing, when you're carrying these things, it's 94 pounds. I kind of put it on my tummy, and then I tip it, kind of doing a curl with the bag. But I can feel with my left hand, I can feel it going into the mixer. And I just hold the other end of it. and let it drop in. A little bit falls out, no big deal. So we got our old 94 pound bag in our mixer. Now we're coming back with some moisture, with some, uh, some hose, some water, and what I do is I spray it on this outer top edge with the bullet of the hose. So I start right here and then move back. Moving that nozzle spray back, slowly back to that back corner. And that gives us a chance to rinse it off the tub or the drum. And that's a good thing to, to not to have it stick. You want it really snotty. You can move over on that side, Michael. So it doesn't spit on you. <laughs> yeah, I was using the zoom. There you go. So now you can see we got a real wet mix. And that's that's what we want. So we got that at this point. What we're gonna do is then dump that into a five-gallon bucket and then we're gonna spin it with a drill with some uh, a mixing bit on it for a thicker thicker mortar. Now we'll get it to the perfect consistency for us to shoot our stuff on.
basic five gallon buckets. Whenever you have something you're dumping cement into, give it a rinse with water. This helps cut down on the on the cement sticking to your to your uh, bucket or your wheelbarrow or what have you. We're going to see if we can dump it into the bucket and get as close as we can. So that got pretty close. mixing mortar in a concrete mixture it's going to have a tendency to stick to the sides and that's that's no big deal but you just pick it off wipe it off with your hand it off with your hand. Wipe it off the wall. When you're doing concrete, the concrete will come out of the drum almost totally and not have anything on the walls if you do it right. You get the, the moisture setting about where it needs to Inside, see if you got any mud stuck anywhere. And a lot of times you do. So that's pretty good. All right, so once you pull out all your mud, before you go working, you rinse this. If you don't, you end up with cement stuck to the the walls of your drum and it just ends up being heavier to carry. You can bang it and knock it off, but it's a good idea to always get in the habit of cleaning your material off your tools and stuff before you go laying it down someplace and applying it. So you get the inside, you want to get the inner edge, you want to get every every square inch of this thing if you can. And go in around the paddles. underneath and then you've got your water in there ready for the next batch of mud if you're continuing to mix and I usually get the hose and I usually hook it on the mixture somewhere here in the back so it's uh, basically pretty stable so we've got one bag we missed it a little bit there, so I'm not too worried about it. Stuff is super cheap. So now we want to get the uh, drill mixture. And we need a little more moisture in this thing to get it to the consistency we need for blowing, you know, for the hopper. We're going to be using that hopper. This is a, a half inch uh, drill 
and it's and you want a pretty a pretty heavy duty drill to handle this. And Daniel, can you check the plug over there? Maybe this cord that's a thousand years old has finally died. <laughs> Let's see. The orange one is what? That's trippy. Well, we have a power shortage here. Get some power over here. Nothing. Oh well. No power. All right. Yeah. <laughs>